Hey guys, I'm Brittany Hughes. You're watching MRC TV, and this is your reality check. In the span of a weekend, three protesters stormed the stage of a production of Julius Caesar in New York City, a play that depicts the bloody assassination of a character that looks suspiciously like Donald Trump. And naturally, it's made a lot of people very angry, including those on the left who are a lot more upset about the protesters than they are about the stylized murder of the president. Now, there's an understandable amount of anger from those on the right, especially given last week's targeted shooting of Republican congressmen and the left's repeated calls for violence against conservatives since the election. But physically storming the stage of a play, even a vile one, is not an acceptable answer. Free speech, even that with which you disagree, is a right that must be protected. And any conservative worth his salt will defend that on principle. So now it's the left's turn. The next time that thugs at Berkeley decide the best way to respond to a conservative speaker is to light the nearest bank on fire, I expect a full-page article in the New York Times condemning the left for stifling free speech. The next time someone shoots at a truck because it's a flying a Make America Great Again flag in support of Donald Trump, I expect Rachel Maddow to dedicate her show's 18-hour opening monologue to denouncing the left's attacks on free speech. The next time rioters at Evergreen State College attack a professor because he vocally disagreed with their racist, bigoted temper tantrums, I expect Chris Matthews, Van Jones, and the entire editorial board of the Washington Post to decry their all-out war on the First Amendment. Fair enough? Because I didn't hear the media make this big of a stink when Allison Stanger wound up in a neck brace thanks to liberal toddlers who think that no one should be allowed to voice an opinion different from their own. I didn't see liberal Twitter get up in arms when Cal State canceled a Ben Shapiro event because left-wing activists threatened violence. It is time that those on the left denounce their own hateful, violent, and repeated attacks on free speech. Because if this right gets trampled, it gets trampled for all of us. And that's your reality check, America. Subscribe to our YouTube page, like us on Facebook and Twitter, and stay sane out there.